All right, welcome back to Zelda Deluxe Maxi. Uh, so we just got started on this, what's going to be a very long quest. So I already got some basic supplies. I'm already getting a lot of money. I a lot of that last part, I got a lot of money as well. Here, you know, again, money's really not going to be an issue in this quest. There's not much else for me to buy. So we'll probably start going into our first levels. Okay, so we're gonna do... It's really not gonna matter which level I do first. I'm gonna do both of these. Going to 1-1. One, one. I think it's always nice that these bats drop refills. You know, back into the easy levels. Again, it helps if you've played the other four quests. That way you're not doing all of this blind. I guess if you want a little more challenging, you just do this quest right off the bat, not play the other quest. <laughs> to learn all the dungeon layouts, you want to do it that way. I don't know if money just drops more frequently in this quest. I mean, I'm getting a lot of cash, and I know some of the other quests I've had to grind around for a few minutes just to get enough money. Yeah, so, you know, your old strategies of trying to save keys, you know, just trying to Shortcut through uh, certain walls. Uh, that's out of the question in this quest. Pretty much all the shortcuts are gone. So you're not going to be able to skip locked doors. So I'm not going to try to bomb this wall because you can't. You There's nothing there. Last time I had to open this particular lock. <laughs> Pretty much like never, because you could always just bomb the other wall and shortcut this. But now you have to, have to go through all these locked doors. Yeah, this guy just reiterates what I just uh, mentioned a few moments ago. Uh, you know, most of these bombable walls are gone. They don't exist. I mean, anything that can allow you, that in the old versions allow you to save keys, uh, that's, again, does not exist anymore.
Uh, so make sure you find every single key because you're gonna need it to get, you know, all the items in, in the game over the course of the game. locations. Uh, I don't know which quest takes priority in this case. It's got your bow in this level from the first quest. I think it's from the first quest. Most of my time playing, most of my time playing, I never opened that door. Is gonna have two pieces of heart. So one in the dungeon somewhere, so that replaces one of the items. And then uh, the boss is gonna uh, give another piece of heart. Surprisingly, most of these levels are not going to have Triforces, just going to have these little portals that lead outside. So really the only purpose of going into the levels is to just beat the boss, get a heart piece, and move on. Alright, into the next level. Uh, one, two... magic shield before starting levels, just to give yourself that bit of insurance, you know, dodge fireballs, or at least block them.
Uh, luckily, not much has changed version to version. You know, there might be a few changes in like enemy formats, but for the most part, these levels are designed the same way as in the original. some patterns as you go through these levels, like which uh, dungeons may have what certain items. <clears throat> uh, you'll notice as you go along. Another piece of heart. I remember what that used to be. You know, it was a magic jar before. So you really don't have to look for the pieces of heart that much, because, I mean, if you can find all the items in the dungeon, I think uh, you should be able to find them. Eventually you'll stumble into the, where the piece of heart is. Scoop up some more money. There's a locked door, there's usually going to be something behind it. You're probably not going to have wasted keys here since you can't buy any, any keys. <clears throat> you know, probably the uh, keys to locks ratio is going to be one to one. You know, versus say like the first quest, I can save like at least, you know, ten keys maybe. And then I get the magic key. short level because, you know, it's the beginning of the game. You're not expecting anything tricky here. Oh, more money. And just pocket all the loose change we can find. And mind you, that used to be a bombable wall up there. in this level. Uh, I don't think you get anything for clearing this room, not to my knowledge. I'm trying to get to the locked door. Just a single, the 
dongo. Yeah, they're good, good to bring extra bonds with you. Ooh, 50 rupees. Got a big 50 rupees right there. Ruby drops. <laughs> I don't remember getting this many in my some of the other quests. It's like you're kind of struggling to find 20s. You've already got a few of them. Okay. Um, so much still, so much short part at this point. Guess I can go on a little further. Uh, this next level, I'm actually not going to complete. I'm actually just going to get the item and leave. And when you see the dungeon I go into, you'll see why I'm going to do it that way. Since there's pretty much no money caps, and you just pick up all the money you want at this point. And nothing here. Usual gambling spot. Alright, so I'm gonna step in here for a little bit. Going to 1 4, and you notice the. Again, if you've played the. Again, it helps if you've played the original Zola Deluxe and get an idea of what what's going on. Uh, but again, you, this is your uh, mini 2 level. Item, or at least a couple items and get out of this place. And you, I'm gonna do the same thing I did for my uh, mini two. Because uh, you you know what the boss of this place is if you play this. Uh, more money. Just keep all that change. Same spot as the original quest. Now the original like mini two. It's towards it's later on that items start getting, kind of getting shuffled around where you find certain things. So you know later on you can't really just go to the level that you originally found the whatever item in. 
worrying me because uh, sometimes it's not gonna be there. Field of Rios. I guess it sort of helps have a magic shield to an extent. just for 20 rupees, because you normally get the boomerang there, and <laughs> now it's just 20 rupees. Well, since that sword bubble's coming up, uh, make my life a little bit easier. Okay, so one more thing to get on this area. Uh, you find your free heart piece here. So uh, you, yeah, we're trying, trying to wonder where the magic jar is. Although I don't have anything that uses magic yet, so it's not that big an issue at this point. Okay, so again, I'm not going to clear this level yet. I'm going to uh, spare the back end of this for later. Because again, you sh if you've played this particular quest, or at least, you know, this level, uh, you know what the boss is. Alright, so we're going to probably just go into some other levels in the next part. You know, just explore around a little bit more. Alright, see you guys later.